The car stereo business is one of the hottest in the nation these days. That's a much younger Doug McAllister reporting on the car stereo business. They were fairly new then. Sales were up 300%. Motorists found something else to contend with. Radar was being used to catch speeders. The summer of 78 was also a time for some no, of the ugliest sport coats and leisure suits one could imagine. But this was the fashion statement of the day. Uniforms of baseball's all-stars. Fred Lynn, George Brett, Ron Carew, even Howard Cosell was in town. The Padres' best player, Dave Winfield, invited the public to the El Cortez Hotel. A lot of the kids in the cities, it's a once-in-a-lifetime thing. They won't be able to go to the game. They won't be able to meet the players. Uh, it's kind of impersonal to them, so I'm making it a little bit more personal and uh, with this little party to meet the guys. Get a whole for me. For the first time, the public was invited to watch the All-Stars the day before the game. Now they charge for it, then it was free. A tub of popcorn then was a dollar, now it's two dollars. <laughs> Dave Winfield's first time at that was special. It was quite a thrill, uh, knowing the hometown people appreciate you know, my play after all these years, and now they were able to see me in comparison to the, the better player, the elite around the league. I think I proved myself. Uh, I knew I could do it anyway. Players change, fashions change. But one thing we discovered is that some words don't seem to change, especially words from politicians about budget cuts. They don't know how to run this city. And frankly, I don't know that they know how to run the state. Pete Wilson, then San Diego's mayor, had lost the governor's race in the primary. The eventual winner, Jerry Brown, talked about budget cuts. See if the words back then sound a lot like what we're hearing today. There's no time for recrimination. We must get to work. We must make the cuts where needed. $28 million reduction from a $275 million proposed budget is pretty substantial. The city school budget was cut by $6 million, and at San Diego State University, new president Thomas Day was welcomed with budget woes. What happened to cause the 78 money crunch? In June, Proposition 13 had passed, a measure that drastically cut property taxes. Bill Collender was San Diego's police chief. Do not take the 26 officers from our budget. If we don't receive any money, we will have to lay off all of our personnel on the 31st of uh, July. It seemed nothing could get worse, but it did. Nine days before the All-Star game, teenagers Michael Baker and John Majeski were murdered near Mira Mesa. Their killer, Robert Alton Harris. <laughs> the game was a welcome break. We had just had a postal rate increase. A first class stamp was now 15 cents. A gallon of gas was up to 60 cents. The old globe had been demolished by fire. Richard Nixon had ended four years of isolation in San Clemente. And the city council was reluctant to approve plans to build the trolley. We need to be a little bit more certain of what the costs are and certain that we're not going to be building white elephants. Not to go forward with this, I think, in the future San Diego is, not only is it absurd, it's extremely unfortunate. The trolley would be built. The same for something still in developer Ernie Hahn's drawing phase, Horton Plaza. Here have I told you lately that I love you. The summer of 78, weekend picnics on land, an amphibious car on the water, it was also a time when someone tried to fry an egg on a local sidewalk. San Diego was hot in July 78, but not that hot. It just seemed that way because the best boys of summer were in our town. <laughs>